In 2015, the United Nations established 17 sustainable development goals with an eye on 2030 to make them real. The goals target poverty, hunger, health, sustainability and the world's environment. In 2045, the UN will be 100 years old with the hope that by then, these SDGs will be a way of life for the family of nations around the planet. But political ideas are not economic realities and without the global business community and its potential to drive and innovate, progress will be painful. That is the essence of Vision 2045. Inga, good to talk to you. How have you seen business and industry change since the creation of the SDGs in 2015? Well, it's been a really interesting development because um, something that was made in the UN does not always walk into the business community. But there are a, a great number, I won't say the majority yet, of CEOs of big companies who get who gets that short-term profit uh, at the expense of long-term sustainability is actually no profit at all. And what's also interesting is that consumers, we are becoming more aware and we are becoming more selective about what we pick up and what we purchase. Now, we're not yet there where every item that we pick up has a carbon footprint, you know, along with the dietary dimensions to it uh, and the weight, etc. But maybe one day we will be if we consumers demand it. Why do you think it's more important now more than ever for businesses to put the SDGs at the forefront of their sustainability strategies? These three crises, climate, nature and pollution, we've got to deal with them. The World Economic Forum uh, in its uh, risk survey highlights the planetary dimensions of what we're doing as a primary risk to sustainable business, to businesses staying afloat. So when they look at climate risk and say, these are the realities of what is risking a stability in our economic and our, our business foresight, well, then the rest of the world should listen to it. It's not just people like me who work on environments, it's actually people who are in the business side. So that, that, that becomes obviously critical, therefore, to putting the SDGs at the front line. And, just to say that, you know, on the climate, which is this uh, climate crisis, which the Secretary General of the United Nations calls an existential crisis to humanity, we would want to reach uh, below uh, at below two degrees uh, towards 1.5 degrees. Now, on average, we're around 1.2. So what are we going to do about that? Well, we have to stretch even more. And businesses get that and it's good for the bottom line because that's where the future lies. What still needs to be done to achieve the vision of a better world by 2045? What improvements do you think could be done already on the, the goals that have already been set? Well, on the government side, they set the guardrails around regulation, whether it, you know, clearly on, 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 on climate, but it's us who vote them in. So we need to take that into the voting booth. And it's not a left and right issue, it's just a futures issue. And understanding that everything is connecting to everything, but you can also get these positive externalities. And on the health side, which we clearly with the pandemic have understood so much more of, we need to think about the one health construct uh, in that human health, absolutely, don't get me wrong, that's critical. Veterinary health, how good are the animals that we keep? What is their health? Because many diseases between humans and animals. But planetary health, how are we dealing with the health of the planet? Because many of these diseases come from a bat, a snake, a, a rat, et cetera, et cetera. In addition to that, since there is a saying that money makes the world go round, the financial system and how the financial system enables or disables sustainability matters. And even how we measure wealth, is the measurement of wealth just the pro produced capital and the human capital, or is it also the natural capital, the wealth that we have in our forests, our clean oceans, our sand dunes that break, this, uh, break the winds, um, the health of our pollinators that make the next harvest, the health of our, our waterways. Clearly that matters. And so beginning to look at and value, not just 
goods and services, but actually the very essence of life. What can businesses do more to make greater progress towards goal 15? Set a value on nature and, and, and integrate that into your reporting line, into your bottom line. Just like many companies have done with their CO2 fit footprint, begin to understand the footprint that you are having on nature and use that to your advantage as a marketer. And then on the science-based pathway to the 1.5 degrees, uh, obviously incorporate that into, into your, your, your production or your investments, etc. And be mindful that, um, that investors will become ever more demanding in this space. So if you are in the front of innovation and investments, uh, you will get much further. If you could give one piece of advice to companies about what they should be doing right now, what would you say? I guess I would say that uh, for any company, what matters is a return to the company. But most companies will very much find that when they also have a return to the planet, their long-term sustainability will be stronger. Thanks very much. Good to talk to you.